Now for 10 part B, we're told that the line L2 is perpendicular to the line L1, so that's 90 degrees in there. And we've got to get the equation of the line L2. We've got to find an equation, so we don't have to put it in the form y equals mx plus c, just literally any equation will do that describes any point x, y on L2. How are we going to do this? Well, first of all, we need to work out the gradient of this line so that we can get the gradient of this line. Because once you have the gradient of one line being perpendicular, it's the negative reciprocal of it. I'll explain that as we get closer to uh, that part. Anyway, so we need to find the gradient of QR. So let's put this down as the gradient of QR. And you should know that to get gradient from two points, you have to work out the difference in the y coordinates and divide it by the difference in the x coordinates. So the difference in the y coordinates will be 3 take away 0, 3 take away 0, all divided by the difference in the x coordinates, so it'd be 1 take away 7. You must keep the order of what you do exactly the same. You could have done 0 take away 3 or 7 over 7 take away 1. You'd still get the same answer as this one, and the answer is 3 over minus 6, and that comes out as minus a half. Okay? Having the sketch here also helps because you've got a negative value here and you can see that this line has a negative gradient, negative slope. Okay, Always good to just check your answer against your graph. Now we need to get the gradient of L2 and I said to you that if you have perpendicular gradients, the perpendicular gradient is the negative reciprocal of this. So the negative of this would be just a half, and then the reciprocal of it is 2. Okay, So the perpendicular gradients, or the gradient of L2, would equal 2. Now I've got the gradient, I'm working my way now towards the equation of the line. I've got a point on the line, I've got the gradient, and so what I'm going to do is use the equation of a line. And just to remind you, okay, what the equation of a line is, going through a given point, say x1, y1, with a gradient of m, the equation is y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1. I don't use the equation y equals mx plus c. It's very inefficient in questions like this when you've got a known point and the gradient. So I'm in a position to work out the equation then of L2. Don't just rush into it and just write down your answer. Give the reader some explanation of what you're doing. So therefore, equation of L2 is, okay, what is it? Well, it is y minus y1, and y1 is a point on the line, and we can see we're going to use the point q. So y1 is the 3, equals the gradient, which is 2, multiplied by x minus x1. So x and minus x1, and the x1 value is the 1 here. So now I've got an equation of the line L2. And I could actually leave it like that. I've done the job, I've got an equation for L2. However, you might want to carry on and just simplify this, OK? So simplifying it, I would expand out the bracket and get 2x minus 2. I could put it in the form y equals mx plus c. And if I did, I would add 3 to both sides and get y equals 2x and adding 3 to the minus 2 gives plus 1. y equals 2x plus 1. A glance up at the graph, does it look reasonable? Yes, it's got a positive slope. Goes through the 1 on the y-axis. Not drawn to scale, but looks possible. OK? In part C, we're asked to find, in fact, the coordinates of the point P, where the line L2 crosses the 
y-axis. Well, putting it in this format is very easy because it's just simply when x is 0. So when x is 0, you'll see that clearly y equals 2 times 0 plus 1, y equals 1. So therefore the coordinates of p are simply 0, 1.